very good morning to you all my dear children i hope you are all fine and safe in your home isn't it okay good now we can continue our max revision okay now we are going to revise the chapters chapter 3 squares and square root then chapter 4 cubes and cube roots then chapter 5 playing with numbers okay this is chapter 3 squares and square roots what are the square number do you know what are the square numbers that one's digit is 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 is that numbers are square numbers for example 4 9 16 25 169 625 now listen this one's digit 5 then here one's digit 9 here one's digit 5 6 then here 9 and 4. Isn't it? These numbers are in the ones digit means these numbers are square numbers. Okay. Suppose we have the ones digit 2, 3, 7, 8 means that numbers are um, not square number. Okay. That, that numbers are not square number. Now clear what are the square numbers? Square number. Now here it says 2 square. 2 square means 2, 2 are 4. 3 square. 3 square means 3, 3 are 9, 4 square, 4 square, 4 square, 16, etc. Clear? These are called square numbers. 1 square means 1. Clear? Now, some interesting facts. Okay, some interesting facts. Now, here 1 square, 11 square, 111 square. Here 1 square means answer is 1. 11 square means, now here, 2 11. 2 ones, isn't it? 11 square. So we can write 1, 2. Okay? 1, 2. Then 2 before 1. Okay? Here 2, 1. So we can write the counting numbers 1, 2. Then reverse order. Reverse means 2 before 1. Okay? Then 111 square means here 1, 2, 3 times 1. So 1, 2, 3. Then reverse it. 3 before 2. 2 before 1. Okay? Like this we can write 1, 1, 1, 1. Here how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ones are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we can repeat uh, reverse order. 6 before 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the answer. Now we can um, multiply uh, 6 times 1 into 6 times 1 means we will get the same answer. Okay, here we no need to put this comma, okay. This is the one number. Clear? Okay, now this is 1 square, 11 square, 3, 3 times 1 square, 6 times 1, 7 times 1, 11 times 1 square means we can find, we can find easily these answers. Okay, this is the interesting fact. Now we can write 7 square, 67 square, 667 square also, okay. Now here 7 square means 49, 7 seven sir. 49. Now here, listen, 7, 7, sir, 49, which is the one digit 9. So we can write here one place 9. Now here, how many 6s are there? Only one 6. So we can write only one time 8. How many 6? Only one 6. So we can write only one time 8. Now here, only one 8 means 2 times we can add 4. 2 times we can add 4. Okay, first we can write 7 sums are 9, 1 digit is 9. Here, how many 6s are there? Only 1, 6. So, we can write 8. Here, only 1, 8 means we can add 2 times 4. Suppose here 2, 8 means we can add 3 times 4. More than 1. Okay, now here 6, 6 times 67 means 1 sums are 49, 9. 1 digit is 9. Here, how many 6s are there? 2, 6. So, we can add 2 times 8. Okay, now here 2 times 8 means how many fours we can add here? 2, 8 means 3 fours we can add here, isn't it? 4, 4, 4. Okay, now here 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 7 square means 7, 7, sir, 49, 1 digit is 9. Here how many 6s are there? 4, 6s. So we can add how many 8? 4 times 8. 4 times 8. Now here uh, 4, 8 means we can add 5 times 4. Isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
5 times 4. Okay? Understand? Now, numbers ending with 0, 20, 140. Then the corresponding squares are um, squares end with. Here, that numbers ending with 0 means squares also that numbers ending with 0. Square also the corresponding square end with 0. The number ending with 1 means end with 1 means that corresponding square also end with 1. 1 ones are 1. Now here end, the, the numbers ending with 2 means 2 twos are 4. So square 4 ending with the corresponding squares end with 4. Now here 1 digit is 5 means end with 5 means numbers ending with 5 means the corresponding squares end with 5 5 is 25. 1 digit is 5. Okay, numbers end with 4 means 4 fours are 16, 6. 1 digit is 6. Now here numbers end with 3 or 7 means 3 or 7 means 3 3 is 9, 7 7 is 49. 9, 1 digit is 9. Okay, so squares numbers end, numbers ending with 0, 1, 2 means the corresponding squares also end with like this. Clear? Now finding Pythagorean triplets. Okay, Pythagorean triplex means Pythagorean theorem said A, B, C is a right angle triangle. Here A, C square is equal to A, B square plus B, C square. Isn't it? Now, here M, B and even natural numbers that than 1 means here 2 M, M square minus 1, M square plus 1 is the Pythagorean triplex. Okay, 2 M, M square minus 1, M square plus 1. Suppose M, B and odd natural number means M, M square minus 1 by 2, M square plus 1 by 2. Suppose here 4, 4 is a even, 4 is a number means we can find the Pythagorean triplet. What are the Pythag Pythagorean triplets? Now here 2 M equal to, 2 into what is M? M is equal to 4, is it? it? So, uh, 4 equal to 8. Then second one, M square minus 1 equal to 4, 4 square minus 1. 16 minus 1 equal to 15. Then m square plus 1 is equal to 4 square plus 1 equal to 16 plus 1 equal to 17. Now listen here. This is 17 square is equal to, isn't it? Which is big. 17 square is equal to 8 square plus 15 square. Isn't it? 17 square is equal to 8 square plus 15 square. This is the Pythagorean triplet. Okay. Now, M be an odd natural number means in 7, M is equal to 7. Then M square minus 1 by 2 is equal to, what is M? 7 square minus 1 by 2. 7 7 is 49 minus 1 by 2 equal to 48 by 2. 1 2 is to 2 2 is 4, 4 2 is 8 equal to 24. Okay. Then, Next one, m square plus 1 by 2 is equal to, what, 7 square plus 1 by 2 equal to 49 plus 1 by 2 equal to 50 by 2, 1, 2 is to 2, 2, sir, 4, 5, 2, sir, 10 equal to 25. Now, uh, how can you write the Pythagorean triplets? 25 square is equal to, which is the 25. So, 25 square is equal to, 20, uh, 7 square plus 24 square, 7 square plus 24 square. Thus, 7, 24 and 25 are forms Pythagorean triplets. Okay? Are forms Pythagorean triplets. Here also, thus 8, 15 and 17 are may forms Pythagorean triplets. Okay? Find the square root of a number. Okay? Find the square root of a number. Now, repeated subtraction. Now we have repeated subtraction method, then prime factorization method, long division method. Isn't it? First one repeated subtraction. 121 we can subtract from here. One odd numbers. First one, three, five, seven, etc. Isn't it? Now we can subtract from 121 minus 1 is equal to 120. This is the first time. Then second, 120 minus 1. 3 equal to 117. Then third time, 117 minus 5, 112. Then 112 minus 
seven hundred and so hundred and twelve, isn't it? Hundred and five, isn't it? Hundred and five means minus seven. Right? Hundred and twelve minus seven is equal to hundred and five. Then hundred and five minus nine. Hundred and five minus nine means hundred ninety six. Ninety six. Then hundred and sorry ninety six minus ten equal to sorry eleven. Eleven is equal to eighty five. Now eighty five minus thirteen equal to five minus three is two. Eight minus one is seven. Seventy two. Then seventy two minus fifteen equal to twelve minus seven is five. Six minus one is four. Forty seven. Okay, now forty-seven minus forty-seven or say fifty-seven, fifty-seven, isn't it? So twelve minus five is equal to seven. Here six minus one is equal to five. Now here fifty-seven minus seventeen equal to forty. Then ten times forty minus nineteen. Forty minus nineteen is equal to twenty-one. Now we have twenty one. Eleven times twenty one minus next to our number is twenty one equal to zero. Now we got the zero in the eleven times, isn't it? So what is the square root? Square root of one hundred and twenty one is equal to eleven is the answer. Okay, here eleven is eleven times, so we get eleven times we get zero. So this answer is zero. Now prime factorization method means twenty two thousand five hundred is in down method. Two table one two is two one two is two 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 sir four five two sir ten zero. Then two table five two sir ten six two sir twelve two two sir four five two sir ten. Then this is ah uh, three table one three is three twenty six eight three sir twenty four twenty two yes three table one three is three two balance twenty six. Eight three is are twenty four. Again two balance twenty two. Seven three is are twenty one. One balance fifteen. Five three is are fifteen. Then three tables. Six three is are eighteen. Two three is are six. Five three is are fifteen. Now uh, three table two three is are six will not count. Five table is so five table. One five is five. Two five is are ten. Five five is are twenty five. Five table two five is are ten. Five five is are twenty five. Five table five five is are twenty five. Now what is the square root of twenty two thousand five hundred equal to square root of what are the prime factors? Two two times three two times then five four times five four times. This is square root, isn't it? So we can take two in one outside. Two in one outside. So what's the answer? Two into three into five into five. We can we will already we take two in one outside. So no need to put this square root here. You put the square root means that is wrong. Okay. When I am remove the square, that is we can take that two in one taking outside, isn't it? So here we can multiply and write two three sub six six five sub thirty. Thirty into five hundred and fifty. Thirty into five. Hundred and fifty is the square root of twenty-two thousand five hundred. Okay, this one method. Now six hundred and seventy-six. Six hundred and seventy-six. Now we can split. Yes. Now we can split the digit to two digits, isn't it? This is first pair. Then this is second. Okay, first pair. We have two digits. Okay, right to left we can split. Now we have only one digit. Now we can take we first we can take this digit. One two 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 sa four, isn't it? Two two sa four. Three three sa nine. So we can't take. Here two two sa four. Three three sa four four sa square numbers we can use. Okay. Now here two two sa four. Six minus four is two. Now this is one pair. In division method, we can take only one by one. We can take bring down, isn't it? But here you don't take one by one. That pair we can take down. Here seventy six, so we can take together seventy six down. Now this is this quotient is multiplied by two. Two two sa 
4. Isn't it? Now we can add here one digit. That same digit we can add here also. Okay. Now we are 276. We need uh, this here already we have tens place 4. Isn't it? Square means 4. 4 are 16. Isn't it? Here we can add 4 means. Uh, here 4 means 4. 4 are 16. Otherwise we can add here 7 means. 7, 7 are 49. 6 means. Yes, 6. 6, 6 are 36. Isn't it? Uh, here 6 into 46. 46 into 6 means. 6, 6 are 36. 3 balance. 6, 4 are 24 plus 3, 27. Did you get 276? So we can multiply by 6 in the quotient and this one's place. So we will get 276 is the answer. So what's the square root of? Square root of 676 equal to what's the answer? 26. First we can split that pairwise. After we can take the first here we have. Here also pair means we can take together. Okay, suppose here uh, 6276 means we can split that like this, isn't it? Now we can take this chain 2 together. 7 7 are 49. Isn't it? 8 8 are 64. But we can't take 8 8 are. 7 7 are 49, like this. Clear? Okay, this is long division method using a whole number. Okay, now next one. On decimal number, we can find the square root value. Okay? Now here, 853.2241, isn't it? After the decimal, decimal point, after the decimal point, we have 4 digit. Suppose we have 3 digit, 2, 2, 4 means, how can you split? Here 2, here we can add 1 0, decimal for we can split 2, 2, pair, pair, we need pair. So we can add here 1 0. Integral part and decimal part, you don't miss, okay? Uh, here, like this, if you take like this, in pair means this is wrong. Don't take like this. Decimal part together, then integral part together. So, here only three digit means we can add one zero here, then like this. Clear? Okay. Now, here after the decimal point, we have, here we have four digits, so we can split two, two numbers. Isn't it? Now, we can take here two, two, sir, four. 3, 3, sir, means 9. But here we have 8. So, 2, 2, sir, 4. Now, 8 minus 4 is equal to 2. Now, we can take together here 53. Now, we can multiply by 2 in the quotient. 2, 2, sir, 4. Now, we can write any one number here and here. Now, we have, um, sorry, here 8 minus 4 is equal to 4, isn't it? Yes. Now, 2, 2, sir, 4. Now, we can add here 9 means 49 into 9. 49 into 9, 9 is 81, 8 balance, 9, 4 is 36, 36 plus 4, 44, 441. So, 9 times 441, now 3 minus 1 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 2, sorry 1, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now here, we have decimal point, so we can put the decimal point in the quotient. Okay, now... We can bring down this next two, next two numbers, we can bring down here 22, isn't it? Now, we can multiply by 2 in the quotient. 29 into 2, 58. So, here 58. Now, after the point, we have here 1222. Suppose here we can add 2 means here also 2. So, 582 into 2. 2 to sir 4, 8 to sir 16, 1 balance, 5 to sir 10 plus 1, 1164. Isn't it 2 times 1164? Now subtract it, 12 minus 8, 4 is 8, 11 minus 6 is 5, 58. Next to 2 digit we can bring down 5841. Now we can uh, change, sorry, multiply by 2 in the quotient. 292 means 584 I think, isn't it? 2 to sir 4, 9 to sir 18, 1 balance, 2 to sir 4 plus 1, 5. 584. Now we can add one digit here and here. Now here, 584 by 1, multiply by 1 means here also 1. 
3 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7. 3 times 3, 3 times 7. 3 in 1 take out. Sorry. Because this is cube root. So, we can take 3 in 1 outside. So, 3 into 7 equal to 21. 21, uh, cube root of 9261 is equal to 21 is the answer. Okay. Estimating cube root of a perfect cube. Here one number 9,12,673. Now we can write group wise we can split. 912 is one group. 673 is another group. This is group 1. This is group 2. Now we can take the group 1 673. Now here one digit is 3. Now 3 cube means 3 3 is 9. 9 3 is 27. 7 in the 1 digit. Okay, so we can write the perfect cube also. We can write 7 in the ones digit of a cube root of a perfect cube. Okay, cube root number. Okay, 7 is the ones digit. Okay, 7 is ones digit. Okay, now here we can take the group to 600, uh, group to 912. Now listen, some cube numbers are there. 912 is here. 912. Here 912 means 709 cube in between 9 cube and 10 cube. Isn't it? Here 1000, here 729. Between we have 912. So we can write 9 is equal to 9 cube is less than 912 is less than 1000. Isn't it? In between 912 is in, in between 9 cube and 10. Sorry, here we can write 10 cube. Isn't it? 9 cube and 10 cube. Between we have 912. Here 9 cube and 10 cube which is small 9. Isn't it? So we can take 9 in the 10th place. 9 in the 10th place. We are writing. I am writing here short form. Already I taught that um, before video, isn't it? Class video, like this you study, okay? Now here 9 in the 10th place, isn't it? 9 in the 10th place. Now we can write cube root of estimate value of estimating the cube root of a perfect view, isn't it? Estimating value of cube root of 9, 1, 2, 6, 7, 3 is equal to what is the estimate value? 9 in the 1 place, is, sorry. 7 in the 1's place, then 9 in the 10's place. 97 cube. Okay? 97 cube. This is the estimate value. Not perfect cube. Okay? This is estimate value. Next chapter, playing with numbers. First we have expanded form. Isn't it? Do you know expanded form? Already we are learned, isn't it? Just you recall that. Now we can see letters for digits. Okay? Letters for Digits. Find A and B. Find A and B. Now listen. 2AB, AB1. What's the answer? B1, 8. Isn't it? B1, 8. Now B plus 1 is equal to 8. What is the possible? B plus 1 is equal to 8 means must we need here 7. 7 means 7 plus 1 is 8. Isn't it? B7 means 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Suppose here B7 means here also 7. Isn't it? Now here 7, here 4, uh, A. 7 plus what is equal to? 7 plus A is equal to 1 means here A is equal to what? 7 here 1 possible means 11. Isn't it? 7 plus 4. A is equal to 4 means 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. We can write 1 here. Then 1 balance here. Isn't it? 7 here 3 means. Sorry 4. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. 1 balance. Now it's 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus what is equal to B? B already we know 7. So 3 plus 4 means 4. A is equal to 4 means 7. Isn't it? So what's the answer? 1, 2. A is equal to 4. B is equal to 7. A is equal to 4. B is equal to 7. Then 1. Now we can add. 7 plus 1, 8. 7 plus 4, 11. 1 balance. 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7. 
even place is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So, this is this number is divisible by 11. This difference is 0 means this number is divisible by 11. Now, listen here. Uh, 1771 is divisible by 11 means 111 is 11. 6 bar. 67. 6 lines are 66. Again, 1 bar. 1. 111 is 11. 0. Did you get 0? Yes. So, 1771 is divisible by 11. Now we can sum up the odd place and even place. Then difference that is 0. So this number is divisible by 11. Okay. Now if the number 215Y is divisible by 9. Divisible by 9 means sum of the digit is divisible by 9. Isn't it? Now listen. 215Y. We can add the digit 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus Y. Isn't it? What is Y? Now listen. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus y is equal to 1. We need sum of the digit is divisible by 9. Now here 8 plus 1 means 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So we can take y is equal to 1. Isn't it? 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So 9 is divisible by 9. So we can say 2, 1, 5, 9 is divisible by 9. Isn't it? Divisible by 9. So, what's the answer? Y is equal to 1. Y is equal to 1. Clear? Now, next one, magic square. We can use the numbers 20 to 28. We can uh, uh, make one magic square. Okay, here three rows and three columns. Isn't it? Three rows and three columns. Already they are allotted four points. Remaining points, the remaining numbers we can fill in the boxes. Okay? Now, here, first number is 20. 20 is here means next column up 21. Isn't it? Then down here 22. Isn't it? Then up 23. Then diagonal 24. Then 25 in the last. So we can write the up 26. Then this row down 27. Now listen 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60. 68, 69, 72. Diagonal wise or row wise or column. Always we can add that answer is 72. Okay, this is the magic square. Okay, students, our revision classes are completed. Again, we can uh, revise the chapters 1 to 5, then write the exam. Okay, thank you.